Oh, what? <laughs> what have you done, Tyrone? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well done to Scooby King for finding the pigeon. Let's see who can find it in this one. Let's crack on with fixing the KA. Hi, Colin here, and this is Shine Automotive, and we're gonna have a look at the damage the 12-hour race caused us at Snetterton at the 12-hour De Norfolk race. Yeah, right, let's jump into it and let's see what's broken. Yeah, broken. Wing, finished. Door, finished. Sill, finished. Door has discovered a new ventilation. This is to let the air out fast. This is all part of the new aerodynamic scheme. Door doesn't shut. One good thing when you have um, three engines blow up on you on a two day racing weekend, you don't really use so many tyres, we've actually come back with decent tyres, so luckily for Alton Park we don't need so tyres. So yeah, that side's finished. We'll get a new seal cut in, piece done, chuck another door on, chuck another wing on, Chris Pryor from Chris Pryor Graphics in Wales, he's sorting out me a new wrap for the wing and the door to get that piece in. Broken. You <laughs> look at Stevie. Bumper will probably go again in all fairness. Oh, that's satisfying, man. Any glue and tar. Oh, we don't need any glue and tar on the wing because the wing's getting replaced. So, good green tape save for the day. Yeah, there's absolutely no play on that side. I'll have to check the wheel, it's had a bit of an impact on the wheel. Just like in the clip I'm about to show you. It was all a blur. How can that be all a blur? I'm gutted the GoPro footage isn't there because I'd have loved to have seen this, but I'd have added, on, added I would have added it on now. So right, I think the best thing to do now. <laughs> can't even remember. No. It's just a blur. We know we need the shocker. We'll get the wing off. We have to take the front bumper off. So now we know what we need to do. I think we'll get the front bumper whipped off. Get the door off, get the wing off. Go up and look around the spares department. Hopefully we've got a black door we can just chuck on because it gets fully wrapped anyway. Um, and the wing gets fully wrapped as well. So if we have got any coloured wing, it won't be that bad. We'll just have to paint, paint around the edges of it, ready for the sticker to go on. So at least we've got a nice new wing to hang up somewhere in the garage. Right, let's get cracked on with this. Right, so we've got the bumper out of the way. These wings are normally spot welded on, but what you're allowed to do in the rules is you're allowed to drill all the spot welds out and put bolts. So when we first built it last year, we drilled all the spot welds out and we've got three mounting points up the top. So one there, one there, one there. One underneath has been ripped out and then there's an Allen key, one, right there. So we'll get it chucked onto a time lapse and we'll get the wing and the door pulled off. Grub screw in there, check strap, torque bit on doing there, twist your electrics off, which is all this is bent, but looking at the A pillar, A pillar is nice and straight, same thing down there, grub screw right there, and then the door should open to the full point and lift off, the door is seriously bruised, so I don't think it's just going to lift off, could be interesting, no, mm. Come on! Really? Seriously? You useless piece of one door to take off, how hard can it be? What a nightmare. I 
I broke into a sweat. I don't like it. I always like to keep a good race car. I think the hinge has been pushed. Doesn't look like there's as much fracturing, but I'll find out when I go and mock up a new door. The sill on the inside doesn't look like it's pushed in. That looks fairly straight. Just rolled here a little bit and gone in. And the impact, I think the brunt of the impact was, well, the brunt of the impact was all the way down the side, but Lewis can't remember how it happened. It was all a dream. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, I think what we'll do is we'll get the sill, or should we get a door on first? No, I'll tell you what, we'll get a door, and we'll try and mock up a door first. I've got one on a car, but I think it's wedged in, so I might have to use a different colour door just to mock it up. I don't know if that's a good idea. I wonder if I can get the other car out to get the other door off. Mm, let's go and have a look. All right, let's go and have a look in the many, many spares department. We have one times wing, silver doors, blue doors, but no black doors, and I want a black door, so, because I can't be bothered painting. So we'll have to yuck and rhyme and try and get that black door out. Got a wing. This was off one of our customers' cars. Charlotte, if you're watching, look. The car's still getting used on the race car. Right. I can't remember what it was called. What was your car called, Charlotte? Drop a comment down below. So we've got Charlotte's wing and we need a black door because there's blue doors and I can't be bothered to paint a blue door so we need to figure out how we're going to get to this car. Because we've got a camper here with a broken back axle in the way. So I can't just yuck and arrive it. So I want that door out. In fact, we better have a look see if that door's any good for us. I need that door, that one. On that K that has no wheels on. And can I move that on my own when it has many 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 parts inside many 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 parts very organized don't need shelving you just need a k it's called upcycling you see i don't think there's nothing wrong with that black door just a lot of cobwebs but i need this out the way this out the way do you think i can push it on my own i could do with pigeon man here today i've got no chance absolutely no chance of getting that up with an idea I need to introduce you to the channel what we call the shunter this is the shunter it's our bag of beep that we use for pulling scrap around in the yard tow bar diesel Ford Focus excellent turbo doesn't work head gasket annihilated starts every time it's just what you need See how this goes. Oh, I can't get in the car, can I? Right, I'll go through the boot. Ow! 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 Push! Ow! Ow! Come on, girl! Really? Be an issue. I could have just rove it down the uh, side of the door there. Uh, if it's a little scratch, it'd be all right. Oh, it's only a little scratch. There's no dent. No dent. Oh, that's all right. That's all getting wrapped. Door's in good fettle. Yeah. Wicked. At least I've got a black door. Because it. Oh, you're having a laugh. Right, so I've got the door open. Handles just. This handle's broken. The handle's finished. Door off. Oh, I've got the wrong size. <sighs> Man. Right, let's try that again. There's only one grub screw in this though. Come on, get in there, rubbish. Choppy, choppy. Wedgie, wedgie. this should just lift off with no bother just like that that's how easy them doors should come up et voila let's go get this in the garage and see if it fits on all right mm, i have a funny feeling there's going to be issues with the hinges we might have to come over here and do some choppy choppy oh yeah well done this is the 
Don't know shot. Buzzing. I thought I'd dented that, but it, it just rubbed straight off. I'll just give it a little sand before I put the sticker on. So where are we with the door? Too high, so that means it's moved too high. So the way to get the door to sit down a little bit. There we go, a little bit of a swing, you heard the hinges move. Well, it shuts, but it's tight, the gap's tight. And then it gets big here, and then it's still just sticking out a little bit. So I'm just gonna mess about with the hinges now and get this right. Honestly. Just, you know, remember it is a race car. I'm just running my finger down there now and it's pretty consistent. Really? And the door. Shuts nice. Shuts just like a golf. See look, No pressure. Door's shut. That's sorted. It's nice up round here. Just want to just do a little, little nug. We'll do that now. Just a little. Perfect. Maybe a bit too much. Turn it in again. Lovely. It's nice, nice gap around here. So, that's the door put back right. Cheers, Lewis. It was all a blur. Right, so let's get on to putting the wing on. The wing should just slot on and it should line up with the bumpers and everything should be tickety boo. Uh oh, it fits. It's gonna need a bit of jigging around with that sill. Let's bolt it in. Let's bolt it back in there. So I'm getting prepped now. Two axle stands are under. I'm in a quick brew. Always got to have a quick brew. I'm not going to put the full seal on. I'm just going to chop, choppy, choppy. And then chop there and along there. And then get the new piece pieced in. Do we like it? We like to have a good straight car for every race day. Okay, so it's got trimmed out and I'm just pushing it down now. Pretty solid behind there in all fairness. There's a rabbit warren of stuff in here. Look at all this. Cable tie. You think how's it all get there? Cat. Yeah. It's not very nice. Obviously I put this sill on when we built it last year. That's why it's got the like the triple over skin. So we'll level this out and bring this back down. Cut the rest of this off, bring it down and then it right down and it should just pull off anyway. Right, let's crack on. Right, so I've welded it all along, stitched up, 
welded all down there. The reason I've done it on the corner is now I can roll it and flap it down because we don't want to be using filler on a race car. So we'll just run along there now, smooth that in, smooth down around here and knock knock the uh, spot wells down along there as well. She's starting to look well again. Obviously I don't bother, I'm not flapping that bit down, so obviously the door covers there, it just, just rounds that off. If you're doing it on road car, you'd put a tiny bit of filler over there and skim it in, but we're not going to bother. That's, that'll do the job for what we've got to do. And it's just looking at making it look loads better now. We'll get that bit of sticker off and we'll get this sanded down and we'll chuck a bit of stone chip down along the bottom and then we'll get this blown back in with some satin black. And we're going to use a rattle can because it's a race car. So while the stone chip's drying, I think it's a good idea to tidy up all this mess where I have trashed the garage. While the stone chip's going off, I'm just going to scuff around the edges of the wing all the way around and just give it some fist tin black. And then, because obviously that bit in there doesn't get wrapped and the bit at the top that goes under don't get wrapped. So I'll give that a scuff off, fist tin it up. That's the wing done. Very nice, kidda. Let's have some rattle can on it. While we've got the stone chip um, drying, we might as well put the KA back in place. And we're clear on that side, we're clear on that side. Clear on the camper, lovely. So what we'll do is we'll just gently push this back. Oh no, the wheel's turned in. Go on, go on, go on, get in there. That's parked back up nice. Shunter, you've done as well. Until next time, park safe under the trees.
Right, I've bodged it all up. Bit of cardboard in there, just that bit of board from where I was welding, that's fine. We ain't gonna get any paint going through. Just um, a little tip, roll your masking tape over, don't put an edge. And it's only like a form edging. And then you won't get an edge, we'll just flick around there anyway. You're never gonna see it, it's in the stone ship. Somebody's probably gonna rattle down the side of it again anyway. So that's why we don't bother putting filler in. So we'll get some black chucked on now and then give that 20 minutes and we can hang the door and hang the wing on because the wing's been touched up around the edges. Door on. Door on. Door shut. Ooh, hey, that's nice. Right, let's get the wing on. Really hard to see because the sun comes through the window, but the wing fits nice again. The door's in. A little bit of a bigger gap down there, only mar marginal. That's been me being picky. Door's all good now. Sorted up here. Door opens. Door closes with ease. All the bottom of the sill sorted out where it was smashed in. Right, in the next one, we'll be doing the wrap all along the side, sticking the gearbox on, doing the wheel bearings and servicing the brakes, same as the front, just basically getting it all ready. Gearbox on, clutch, our original catalytic converter, servicing the engine because the engine was how it came out of the car and the oil is black, new plugs, full service the engine and get it all ready for Alton Park. So I hope you enjoyed this one. 79% of you aren't subscribed to the channel, so click subscribe, hit the bell button and I'll be happy because my analytics says that there's a lot of you ain't subscribing, it's only that button down there, so just press it for me. Right, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao, I've been Colin, this is Shine Automotive, Fish Bash Bosch, we fix the K. Yeah. Listen.